Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody is having an awesome uh, start to your week. Uh, I use Sunday as a catapult uh, for what I'm going to do for the week. I believe in uh, managing and controlling the beginnings. So every morning is a beginning. It's the beginning of the day. And so what I do is I take control of the first hour of that day. I don't touch my cell phone or at least I don't open it. Uh, I don't look at it. I don't scan it. I don't want to see anything that can impact my mindset, my state of mind and my focus. So I take control of the day. I do the same thing on Sunday. Sunday is preparing me for the start of the week, not just one day, but the start of the week, how I sit up and develop uh, emotional, uh, mental and material expectations is immensely important. Uh, so this is a, be a beautiful part of the week for me because it gets me in a place and an opportunity where I can set the expectations of what I can anticipate and work toward uh, for the coming week. Before I get in today, there are a couple of things I wanna tell you about. First and foremost, uh, book number 21, I am the power of self-declaration. This is the second book in a six book series on personal development. The first book was Critical Mass, my 20th book. Critical Mass has done great so far. Uh, I love the feedback that I'm getting from it. Guys, keep practicing, keep pushing, keep following through. I am focuses on the power of your self-talk. I have once heard someone say that your brain is the most powerful supercomputer in the world, and it is. It processes over 400 billion bits of information per second, things you don't even know or are not even aware of your brain's processing it. But it, 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 in knowing that your brain is the most powerful supercomputer on the earth, uh, the second part of that is that your self-talk is the program that it will upload and run. You can literally speak into existence the things that you will experience because your, uh, th your thoughts and your words are the expressions of your beliefs. And when you speak them, you solidify them. When you speak them, you set them in motion, not from some mystical element, but because of how the subconscious mind works. So it's very important. So I am are two of the most powerful wor words in the universe because what follows will determine your destiny. Uh, second of all, we are launching today the 30-day holistic transformation for people who have been talking about wanting to work with me but saying hey we can't afford you want you know all the people that said when i get a chance doc i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that here's your chance we're doing a 30-day holistic transformation in this 30-day transformation uh you're going to get a personalized program that's designed around your fitness goals your career goals your personal goals uh, and it's going to start with what we just talked about at the beginning of this video, how you start your day. And it's going to be set up for the first 30 days to get you on the right track, to get you out there and get you launched. And for the price of just one session of working with me, you can get this done. The link is going to be in the top of the description box of this video, no matter where you end up seeing it, whether you're watching it now live on Facebook or whether you watch it later on YouTube and a number of other places, including the site, this uh, is something that we're excited about. I love these intense uh, condensed sessions because it allows people to focus. It's a short enough time that you can see the end while you're starting in the beginning. Uh, but the way that we do it and the intense and pro approach that I take has produced some unbelievable results. I'm looking forward to it. If you're willing to jump out there and invest in yourself and see some changes within 30 days, 
go ahead click that link read the description go ahead get signed up so that we can get started now the reason I'm here for today it's not going to take long what I have to talk to you about today will not take long look when I was nine years old I was in the fourth grade but I was in what was known as an accelerated learning class and what it was was it was a class with fourth fifth and sixth graders in the class um fourth fifth and sixth graders in the, in the same class and it was an accelerated learning class but you can imagine kids at that age uh are bullies kids at that age you know start all kind of stuff and i remember as a fourth grader nine years old in that class being one of the new kids in the class at the beginning of the year a rumor started about me and no matter what i said the rumor just picked up steam and everybody was talking about it. everybody was laughing about it and so being hurt and frustrated i go home uh talk to my mom who is my great grandmother but also my adopted mother i go to her she's in the kitchen she's just gotten home uh from working at her beauty salon and she come she's in the kitchen preparing uh what we're going to eat that evening and i walk into her and i tell her what happened and i ask her how can i get them to see that that's not who i am how can i get them to see the truth and she told me two powerful things. She said, son, first of all, stop trying to sell people on the truth. Stop advertising the truth or trying to expose the lie. Says simply, and she said this is the first time I've heard, heard it was when she said it. But I've heard it seems like a million times since. But she said, look, son, the truth is like a lion. Stop trying to defend it. You don't need to defend it. Turn it loose to defend itself. The truth is undefeated. And I'm like, okay, but she's, then, then she put this one on me. And this is the one I want to talk about with you this morning. She said, son, stop trying to prove to people who you are. Let the life you live speak for you. Let me say that again. Stop trying to prove to people who you are and let the life that you live speak for you. See, we spend so much time trying to be accepted. We spend so much time trying to earn the approval and approbation of others that we lose ourselves in the quest for acceptance and popularity. We want to, we worried about likes and shares. We're worried about how people positively or affirmative, affirmatively approve of our ideas, our thoughts, our aspirations, our visions, our goals, and our dreams, when that's not why we're here. What we're here for is to have an impact. What we're here for is to live out the fulfillment of our destiny and purpose. What we're here for is to live out the fulfillment of our design. We are to be living at the level of our design not seeking the approval and the approbation of others i once heard les brown say that he was told in the 11th grade that he should never ever uh, allow himself to be defined by the opinions of others and that's exactly it we, we we seek way too much time trying to convince people of who we are trying to sell people on who we are let the life you live speak for you what this what am i saying what i'm saying is this that if you spend enough time investing in growing if you spend enough time growing and in and, and, and seeking to be everything that you were designed to be, if you spend enough energy and effort and time and consistency of living out your life purpose, your life will speak for you. Your life will bear witness of who you are. Your life will write the story and the narrative of your legacy. You don't have to convince people who you are when you are walking in purpose. You don't have to convince people who you, of who you are when you are walking in destiny. You don't have to convince people who you are when you are living the life that you were designed to live stop trying to sell people on who you are stop trying to convince people that you are something or someone you just consistently live and be everything that you should be and let the chips fall where they may are you going to make some mistakes absolutely are you going to experience some setbacks yes are you going to have some regrettable moments absolutely life isn't about perfection life isn't about saying I made it through life unscathed because if you make it through life unscathed you haven't lived one percent of your full potential if you don't have some bumps and some bruises if you don't have some scars and some setbacks that means that you haven't truly stepped out in faith and walked 
in the fullness of your purpose and destiny. You played it safe. See, this isn't about a life of safety, security, and being liked. This is a life about fulfillment. This is a life about saying, I came, I saw, I conquered. This is a life about saying, I made my presence felt. You want a life that you live that's so powerful and fulfilling that it's speaking of you long after you're gone. Stop trying to convince people and let the life you live speak for you. On that note, look, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, hopefully uh, inspired some people. Don't forget to get uh, book number 21, uh, I Am. Uh, there's going to be a link in there. You can also find it by Googling it. Uh, I think uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Sony Books, Kobo Books, and on and on and on. Um, it's on all the major distribution channels, but you can also order it directly from our organization and get a signed copy from me. Uh, but also, more importantly, sign up for this 30 day holistic transformation course. Like I tell you, this is 30 days of intense. You'll get an idea in this 30 days of what I do with my clients that are with me for six months and a year. Uh, those are where most of, most of my, that's where most of my work with clients are done is in six months and a year, 20, 26 weeks and 52 week uh, programs. And we're getting some unbelievable things done, but I'm going to show you what the first 30 days looks like, because if you get past the first 30 days, you can make it, you can get to the next level. So find the link that's going to be pretty much at the top of the description box for most of these videos. Okay. On that note, I'm out of here. As I always say, I'm going to live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. I'm challenging you to do the same thing. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable Sunday. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.